Hi guys, today we will look at how to calculate the transition level and what is the transition layer. And uh, uh, let's go right into it. So, in the last video, we've calculated the transition altitude. Now we're going to look at tra al calculating the transition layer. So, uh, for the transition level, the minimum distance between the transition altitude and the transition layer must be 1000 feet. So, knowing that, we must also know that standard atmosphere, uh, the standard pressure, is 1013 decimal 25. So, if we want to calculate the transition level, we must take uh, the height, the height of the transition, the height of the aircraft on the trans on the standard pressure. So if we take this here, uh, this tandem, uh, which is for uh, the standard pressure, the height of the aircraft would be lower than the transition altitude. So there is a risk that it can hit something. So we must find this distance. How we do that? We just take the standard pressure. We subtract the local QNH, the QNH and we get 4. Another relationship between pressure and height is that 1 hectopascal is equal to approximately 130 feet, uh, 30 feet. So we just multiply that with 30 feet and we get 120 feet, 120 feet. We plus that with the 100 feet, 1000, correction, with 1000 feet, and we will get the transition level. But now we must run it to a specific value. So we cannot run 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 it down because it could hit something or it is not actually at the transition altitude. So we all always run it up. So the transition level would be transition level six zero. Six zero six zero. So I hope this video was helpful for you and the, for the transition layer, uh, sorry, uh, for the transition layer, it is the distance between the transition altitude and the transition layer. In the trans and the transition level, sorry, the transition in the transition level, uh, we cannot do separation of aircraft. So, at least in uh, it is is a standard. Because aircraft or either changing to um, changing to standard QNH or descending to lower to local QNH, so it is very dangerous to uh, provide separation in this level. Actually, we don't do it. So I hope this video was helpful for you, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.